Hello. I haven't seen you guys in so long. I know I've been gone for like, what, a week now? I don't know. Close to that. And I miss you guys. So many of you have been sending me messages saying, where are you? Here I am. Um, we did do our Disney weekend this past weekend and I'm still recovering. <laughs> if you've ever been to Disney, you know, it takes a few days to like kind of get back to normal. So my house is a mess and I don't care. Um, I swear to God, I think I'm like one of the only YouTubers that I watch that come on here all the time <clears throat> with no makeup and no shame. Like I feel like I don't care. I just want to like say hi to you guys and I don't really feel like putting on a full face of makeup to do so. I hope you guys don't mind. Anyways, I'm back and I'm going to start filming more videos for you guys. I saw today a lot of people have been posting this one box challenge purge. <clears throat> I really haven't been watching like any videos lately so I'm not really up to speed on everything that's going on with the YouTubers that I watch but I think I'm going to be doing this like on my own um, kind of like a purge challenge for myself because I am such a home decor hoarder that I really need to get rid of a lot of stuff. So um, that's something that's going to be coming soon. I really need to purge especially before spring. I need to get the stuff out of my house. It's so overwhelming. So anyways, um, I also wanted to say I got a few valentines um, from my P.O. box or at my P.O. box and um, I'm sorry that it's taken me so long to write back but I promise I'm going to write you back. Thank you so much. You guys are so nice. I love everything that you guys um, So we went to Disney this past weekend, my husband and I, and we had so much fun, and I really plan on vlogging the whole time. I swear, I plan on vlogging the whole time. But then I said to myself, you know, in the moment, I really don't want to have a camera in our face the whole time. We're here to enjoy uh, the moment with each other, and I don't want to kind of be like, <sighs> like the whole time. So I only really got a few clips of us at the airport, um, and then, <clears throat> you know, a, a couple of clips of the first day at, <clears throat> we went to Animal Kingdom in um, Hollywood Studios the first day. I got a few clips, but not that many. I can insert them if you guys want to see. But um, I know it would have been nice to have like the memories on camera, but I really wanted to be in the moment with my husband. So that's kind of why I didn't. And I'm sorry if you guys are disappointed. But um we are going back in April, so I can film then when we have Madison. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to say that if anyone is looking for a Disney video, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. But um, I do have a few clips that I'll insert of Andrew and his wise ass. <laughs> it's the worst part of the day. We're at the airport. Andrew's Andrew had a Jack and Coke. Yes, I did. Pretty strong too. Andrew doesn't like to fly. No. Should we? Question mark? LOL. LOL? We're parking here and we're going to Animal Kingdom because we're ending here. That's so right. We're smart. Thinking we're, ahead. We're ending, ending, ending here tonight. Because we're eating at the Brown Derby for the first time. And we're excited. Hollywood. Isn't this what we packed last time? Mm, I think so. Oh, hot 
damn. We here uh, finally after like half an hour on the bus. 17. We didn't have to find her. We've never seen her. I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. Safari, no line. No line, Safari. <coughs> Exercise, that lunch We've already done expedition three times. Twice. Twice. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. We ate. We yak ate lunch. Yeti. Yak and Yeti. <clears throat> and now we're going on the safari. It's one o'clock ish. And, and the there's no line. Standby line time was 15 minutes. We'll see. So far, so good. So far, so good. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There he is, too. Yeah, I mean. Brown here. I feel nice about eight minutes in their body. also can eat about 80 to 90 pounds of vegetation. That's a lot of food. On top of the island there, those are the pink back pelicans. Oh, both the males and females grow tusks. There's a water right here. So I can't make any stops, but I will drive very slow. This <laughs> elephant in front of us. I don't know if anybody can see, but there is a baby elephant heading in between them. Heading in between the two on the right. Oh, yeah. Very, very tiny. Oh, it's just over a month old. Oh, there's one over there. That thing is going to take that thing over. These are the white rhinos. So strong. They are bigger than black rhinos, weighing about four to five thousand pounds. Also, their biggest threat is poachers. Look at them for their horns, which is made up of the same substance as our hair and fingernails. Our first time here, and there's Andrew again. <laughs> I haven't vlogged my face at all. Huh? I haven't vlogged much today. We're waiting, we're waiting for Fantasmic. We're waiting for, we're waiting for Fantasmic. How about that? How about that? Anyways, so, um, also in this video, I'm going to show you a lot, a lot of you, um, especially on my Instagram, when I do some Insta stories, I show the progress on the Girl Scout dance table that I'm doing, the Alice in Wonderland themed one, and a lot of you want to see it, so I'm going to show you, um, <clears throat> the progress I've made so far. It's pretty much almost done. Um, I just have to put one thing together, and I will show you what it is, but, um, it's pretty much almost there. I just, none of like the candy is out on the table. We're gonna have like a bunch of candy sticking out everywhere, but I won't put that out until we're actually there. It's actually this Saturday, so but the girls are very excited and I'm very excited to get all this stuff off my day <laughs> table because this is very colorful stuff. So, you know me, like this is, this has been a challenge keeping this stuff up and I like to have it all set up on my dining room table so I can see how I'm gonna be setting it up on the actual table when we get there so um and I also don't have like a Valentine's Day tour to show you guys because 
um, I don't have any Valentine's Day um, decor. I have the one um, banner, whoop, the one banner I showed you guys up there, but honestly, that's all I have is a few, like, white hearts, like, here or there, so I'm sorry if you were looking forward to that. I feel like I'm letting you all down. But um, I don't really decorate for Valentine's Day. I do decorate for Easter, like spring Easter. I'm so. hoping to get to like a home goods or something this week. I haven't gone shopping or like looked for anything like Ray Dunn related in so long because we've actually been on a strict budget. We've put ourselves on a strict budget so we can kind of work towards paying off our debt and it's working. So that's a plus. Um, and... So I really haven't been participating in, you know, the Ray Dunn Mondays and I really want to. I did get a couple new pieces before we, like right the day before we went away, but um, that's just because we had to go there. And I saw a couple things and I couldn't leave them, but I want to include them in an upcoming Monday when I have a couple more things to share. I just wanted to come on here and say hi. I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere and I'm going to be filming a lot more now that... Um, the majority of the dance stuff is done and our little weekend away is done and I can really get back to um, filming videos for you guys um, someone wanted me to do a Disney planning video and I will do that when it gets closer to like April um, for our like bigger trip I will do like my Disney planning so you can kind of get an idea if you're interested I know not everyone on this channel is interested in Disney stuff but if you are interested, I will do that. Um, I'm not going to do a Disney haul from this trip. I only got a couple things. I got two pairs of socks, a Haunted Mansion one, and a monorail <laughs> socks. And um, we got Madison, like, something that she, wa she had been wanting what last time we went. And I got this ring. Because um, I have been wanting this ring. It's from Pandora. And it looks like one of the princess crowns. So I'll just show you this really quick. Can you see it? Um, so this is from Pandora. Um, they had all different ones, but and they had another one that looked like a crown, but I really like this one. So I got that, and that's it. That's all. <clears throat> like, once you go a lot, and you know, we're annual pass holders, like, you don't need everything that you see, because you know you're going to be going back, so I kind of have to put myself on a budget when we go there. But, anyways, I am going to take you into my dining room and show you all of the Alice in Wonderland um, table stuff that I made or put together and I hope you guys enjoy it. Sorry about the lighting, it's really bright outside. So here is the overview of the table and I will show you closer up. Um, <clears throat> the one thing that is not here is a, it's over there actually in that box. It's a, like a clippable, it clips on the side of the tables. It's going to be one of those long um, fold out tables. <clears throat> clips on the table and it's gonna, It's like an archway that goes over the table. And I have a ton of these big cards that I'm going to actually um, put on the arch. So it kind of like has a card archway. So that's going to be on the table too at the end of it. Um, so I just made this little banner it's not very little but this is going to be on the side of the table it's going to run along the side with all of these cards and like i said the theme that we chose for the girl scout dance was alice in wonderland so we kind of did a mixture of mad hatter and the queen of hearts so of course it's very whimsical and colorful so let me start over here um all of these teapots are pretty much all spray painted i spray painted a lot of stuff um and then some of the stuff i thrifted some of the stuff my mother-in-law gave me, um, I got, I'll tell you where I got the rest of the stuff. So this teapot I thrifted, um, and I spray painted it purple. It's not perfect, but you know, who's going to know? Um, and then I got these little picks that you'll see sticking out of the teapots. Um, I got those at Michael's and I think they were like, they were on sale because they were with the Christmas stuff. So even though they're funky colors and then this plate and this plate I got at Savers, um, and I spray painted these two teapots and I um, glued them together. You can see the glue, but whatever. I mean, I couldn't be too particular because literally my OCD would have taken over. So I needed to pick my battles with this for sure. Um, I added the butterflies because if you've seen the movie, the bread and butterflies, um, I did, couldn't, you know, I didn't really want to make ones that look exactly like it, but 
did want to incorporate some sort of butterfly. Then I put this cute cup and saucer on top with these um, gob stoppers to make it kind of look like that's what's holding it up. Um, and then I have a teacup on top and then more of those picks. This I actually want to get a couple more of. This is just, I stuck this here and um, put different color, like food coloring water in and make the little um, tags that say drink me. But for now, that's just there. And out of the teapot, I put some of this ribbon that looks like it's just pouring out and then into that cup down there. And then I just have a couple of these. Um, this is where I'm going to put some of the candy that we have on these cups and saucers. And then I have more of the gob stoppers and a butterfly on top with the little creamer just kind of tilted over like it's pouring out. And then a pitcher. These are really cute. Um, one of the other moms got these. They're hearts, but they're like roses, so it's perfect. Um, so those are lollipops that the girls can have. And then I got this runner. Actually, first I'll start with the tablecloth. I got the tablecloth that savers. Um, I was looking for a black and white check one, but I could not find one anywhere. I didn't want to order off one off Amazon because, you know, I spent way too much money on this as it was. So um, I just picked the green one because it looks like grass. And then I got this... Um, this, I don't think this is supposed to be a table runner, but it is. It was from Michaels and it was on sale, so I picked it up and I'm using it as a table runner because it looks like grass again. And then I had these little um, like grassy orb things, so I just stuck those randomly in. Um, I did want to get another table runner to kind of break up the two greens, but I haven't found one long enough yet. Um, we'll see if I can. You know, I really don't want to spend any more money, so. Um, and then we have more stacked teacups with more butterflies and then more gobstoppers. I'll go towards the back after. And then another thrifted teapot I spray painted pink with one of those cool picks. I don't know if I'm gonna, I gotta change the writing on this. It says you're late, but um, obviously. But I, I cannot write for anything, like, like cool writing, like neat calligraphy, anything like that. I can't do it. So I'm gonna see if my, um, one of the other moms, she has really good writing. She's supposed to be making some arrows that say like this way, uh, tea parties, stuff like that. So maybe she can make this look nicer. Um, I thrifted this clock. Anyone know what time Alice's tea party was? Mad Hatter's tea party? I don't know. I should know this. But um, I was thinking, should I spray paint the silver? I don't think I should. I mean, the rabbits, I think, was gold. It's in with gold or silver, but I don't know. I might just keep it. And then I have Alice in the end, um, and in the back I just have that pedestal. You guys have seen this that I made. I'm sorry. I thought I was going to make another one to do a, like a tutorial on how to do it, but I don't think I need another one, and honestly, it was so easy. All I did was I took a teapot, and um, obviously I started gluing the, um, well, first I started with the ones on the bottom, like down here. I started gluing them to the sides of the um, teapot with hot glue and then I literally just started stacking them up. I would cut holes in them like slits and then I'd glue them. I mean it's not perfect and I just seriously used so much hot glue that it wouldn't go anywhere and then I did the same thing for this side except in the back you can see right there there's a stick kind of um, sticking out of the teapot so it kind of supports that side. And then I put another stick on the side. It was just a kebab stick and I hot glued the cap on. So it kind of looked like the cap was bursting off. It was so easy, you guys. Like, And then I just glued some cards on the bottom. Seriously, that's it. So that's that. Um, and then I have these large like looking teacups. These, I love the top one. It's like a flower. I haven't found anything to go on top yet. But um, I just put some grass and then a butterfly. So it's very... Um, gardeny like Mad Hatter, and then in the back, I spray painted the bait, um, one of those IKEA pots, so it would just hold it up. And then I spray painted this white, like kind of urny thing that I had. I spray painted it gold, and then I got some white um, roses from the Dollar Tree, and I literally just held my can of spray paint back, and I just pressed it and pulled it away, pressed it, pulled it away, so. Um, if you've seen the movie, you know that they paint the roses red. So, um, I just got some, you can't even see, I'm sorry, the light. I literally am the worst YouTuber ever. And you can see a Christmas tree back there. <laughs> so I just got three, um, 
paint brushes, I dipped them in red paint and stuck them in there. And then I made another little sign that I'm terrible at writing. <laughs> and it says we're painting the roses red. So that's kind of a um, Queen of Hearts nod. And then in the back, I just have two um, red hearts. I don't know what I'm going to do with those yet. So <clears throat> that is the majority of the table. It's not 100% done yet. I do have um, to make the arch and of course none of the candy is here and any of the snacks. Um, the arch is going to really make it pop I think and I kind of want to go to the Dollar Tree before the dance and get like maybe three red heart balloons. I'm not sure yet. Like I said I spent way too much money. Um, so that's the table and then in the front of the table um, on the bottom like in front I made these two guys. So these two guys are going to be holding a, you know those, um, what are they? They're like markers for the um, driveways so like plows don't go over. They're like little skinny sticks. So I got a large one of those. My husband's going to cut it in half and they're actually going to be holding them. So this is, again, not perfect, but it'll do. They're going to be holding them so their arms are kind of like twisted and then I'm going to put a, a heart. <clears throat> excuse me, a heart on top of the stick. So I will show you those when it's done. Of course, I will vlog the dance um, and show you when it's all set up. Um, so I put a lot of work into this, guys. This took me a long time to do all of this. Um, so I really hope that um, they at least place. I mean, they did win a first place prize last year, and I don't think that our table was even half as good as this. Like, I shouldn't even pat, I'm like patting myself on the back already, but um, I did put a lot of time and effort into this um, because they're worth it. They get so excited, so um, hopefully they take home some sort of prize. Like, I figured that this year, like last year was cowgirl, so everyone had a cowgirl theme. It was all the same. Everyone did the same kind of theme. This year, the theme was Disney, like I said, so you could really do anything. You could do... So that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you very soon. Bye!